Hello everyone, I'm trying to take off these bobby pins so that my hair is not sticking out. So let's pack some orders. This vlog will be about a little Etsy order packing with me. Maybe you can keep me company? I hope so. I hope you like it. Most Etsy shop owners put a lot of effort into their packaging and into their product. So I really hope that you like this little tiny vlog about what happens when I package stuff for you. Hello everyone. Welcome to another studio vlog. I'd be happy if you click that subscribe button. Thank you very much. How are you today? I am doing well. I will be printing, printing, and more printing, and more laminating, and cutting. Essentially, that is what we do when we run a paper business. Am I right? Um, these are some postcards that I am considering outsourcing to a printing company because it takes a lot of time to make them precisely the size that I need them to be. I like the way these postcards came out with the lamination process, but I'm still kind of iffy about doing this in the long run. So I'm thinking maybe in the future I can have a company do them for me and just have more stock. Um, because I had my thank you cards made by Vistaprint. So that's one option that I might have. Stickers will always be made from home because I think it's always cheaper. I think that it's um, probably better if I have enough stock before I start packing because sometimes I don't have enough stock and I have to make as I get an order. Um, I have my coffee ready. I am making crazy plant lady stickers next week. Stay tuned on my next vlog. I also wanted to say thank you, thank you so much to everybody that made these orders these past weeks. Um, I actually had not been getting as many, so I know that anytime I push a little sale, it always works. Oh, I just saw a raccoon. That was so cool. <laughs> oh man, I wish I would have show. I could have showed you that. It was outside. It like just ran in the front of my yard. My front yard. Very random, but okay. Let's start packaging some orders. I'm listening to this um, video and I'll leave a link to her channel. She goes mushroom hunting and I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm really into mushrooms. I haven't done any kind of illustrations about mushrooms, but I used to find them fascinating when I was a kid. I still do. There are thousands of varieties, edible, non-edible. Like she said, some of them are like deadly poisonous. So these have... Um, a lot of the sticker sheets that I have have been very, very popular lately. Um, I'm so happy. I'm so happy because a lot of times, I think as an illustrator or creator, you make things that you're not for sure if people will like them, or at least maybe that's my case. I am never 100% confident that people will like my things. And every time I click send or upload into Instagram and into Etsy, I'm always doubting myself. And I always have um, fears that people might think that's silly, that's ridiculous. Who's, who's going to buy that? But then I have the support from you guys and from other people, especially when they leave reviews. Just early this morning, I had four reviews from one order, which is so precious. It's like gold for us, for small business owners. We don't get anything back other than recognition. 
you know, financial, rec- not anything financial, but we get recognition from a customer um, and a little pat in the back when somebody leaves a review that they are satisfied, that they like it, that they will buy back. I think leaving a personal note on every order is highly important because people know that you took those few seconds out of the day out of the order of packaging the order to thank them and so i think that um that is like a recognition or a something that asserts reasserts me sorry my english is not functioning today something that reasserts me to know that my work is being appreciated it is being used for a good purpose and people are having a smile when they receive it that is just the biggest recognition i don't see myself making a lot of money in this business I see myself using it as a means to get, you know, bills paid to make ends meet. And I actually also hope not to grow too much as a business because I always want to be the face behind the packaging. I I see how sometimes businesses grow to where they have to hire several people to work for them. And I always think that even though that is great for a business owner because that means your revenue is increasing your business is growing but it also means it's more of a wholesale business um it's becoming wholesale not handmade in my eyes that's just the way i see it which is great for people to grow their business but i always kind of fear growing I always want to keep it small and sometimes I have so many ideas of like not only opening a second store where I would just offer business cards for business owners where I could illustrate your business card, thank you cards for businesses, thank you tags, gift tags, um, even like gift bags for small businesses. I have so many ideas and I get so many requests for Oh, you should do this. You should also maybe sell this. But I'm always afraid to grow because I always want to be the person that packages these orders. And I know that right now the time that I have is very limited because I have Zoe and she requires a lot of time. She just came in the room. So excuse me for the noise. This time I thought it was recording. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Reverse. Opening a package. It had this sticker. Sorry. Oh, this is so good. Oh, wait a minute. How to care for your earrings. How cute. These are the ones I bought. She sent me an extra one. <gasps> Thank you so much. 
Wow, this is so nice. They are little conchas. I want to show them just. They are little conchas, David. Look at this. I bought these for mom. They are too, too cute. The detail in the roses is just, it's just so impressive. I'm always marveled at what people's hands can do in small miniature dimensions. Like the leaves even have the division between, like the, the veins of the leaves it is so tiny. And then this top part has like, it's like a dotted one, dotted polymer clay. Hmm, it's so cute. Hmm, I like them. I love the conchas ones. It's so cute. The business cards are so cute too. Or not business cards, but what are these called? Like, let me, let me try one on. These are the ones I'm gonna wear. And I bought the other ones. It's like their first time experiencing a new language. Maybe the first time experiencing a black person. Like, these kids go through a lot on those classes. That's why I kind of cut them some slack sometimes because not only are they like learning in the middle of a pandemic, but they're also two, three, four. They're also um, coming home from school. So they've already had a full day of school. Yeah. Especially when one don't want to act right. Yeah, that's true. So I had one kid. Huh. Man, what was his name? Was his name was Baby. Baby, I've had a baby too. Baby, baby, can you say? Oh, um, wait, they, they like, named them Baby. It, I think it's like an English, it's just an English name. One kid's name was Dragon. Like, tough. Uh, yeah, that's funny. But, what were they naming those but names? He. he he broke my heart because he was trying so hard at me. Oh, like, like it was like it was stressing him out how hard he was trying. Yeah. Like, and I was like, it's not the same. It was like the, the most simple, the no, one level one lesson, like le lesson one, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. It was on. It was on the letter O and P. He was like, P, P. Be. Be. I was trying to make these kind of like a pink background instead of a blue. You want to yeah. I'm gonna put two up, like two versions. I like these, but I don't know. I think it would be. I kind of manipulated the image into different colors and there was a like a pink background, like a peach pink and I really liked it so I think I'm gonna give that a try. Took a poem. Yeah, I should do that too. big bags because that's all I have left right now but I think that they work for me.
Alright guys, this is the part where we create crepe uh, paper flowers. I think these are going to be great for gifts. Um, I love paper, I love flowers, so this is the best combination. I made these from streamers. I always think of the words in Spanish and sometimes I forget of them in English. So I'll show you that all of the items that I have here. First, these are um, wooden sticks that you can find in the cooking section. Um, you know what they're called. Floral tape. You basically will use this as the stem of the flower. Crepe streamers, these are also a dollar. The floral tape is also a dollar. Um, also, you will need a glue gun, which I am not showing here, but of course, you cannot find that at the Dollar Tree. I bought the colors that were available fuchsia, pink, yellow. The flowers that you see here that are already made have green leaves, which I don't have green crepe paper but you can find that at walmart so let's start opening this little bag and we will go ahead and use one of these rolls the other roll had to be for zoe because if i do not give her the same thing that i'm working with she will try and try and try to take away the one i have so if you have kids one for you one for your kid it's Valentine's, so they sell these cute bags that are an all-year-round purpose um, gift bag. And these that have little hearts that I think are very cute. So I want to add them as freebies on my orders. I also found these chalk pens that I wanted to try out and see if they were any good. I have white, gold, silver, and purple. I also found a small canvas uh, set. It has three in them and some sequin. I wasn't too sure what to do with the sequin, but I still bought it because I liked the colors. So let's get started. We are going to make small foldings with the crepe uh, streaming paper like so i would say fold it about six to seven times i think i did about seven or eight choose something that you think you can work with depending on the amount that you have available excuse me that will be the thickness of your flower so it really depends on what you want it to look like it's it's all about your choice and your you know free forming uh loops sometimes i've seen people that actually draw these loops i just kind of cut them because i like a more organic not um geometric shape and for the most part you know petals i think are not perfect in every single shape they have some odd curves so that's what we want to create the center part of the flower is going to be this yellow streamer and I did the same thing except for this part you just cut little lines like you see in the middle you want like little lines sticking out which is the center part of the flower and of course this can actually be pink if you want it to be pink what blue whatever color you choose that to be but basically you just do this cut little lines now you have this uh you know fancy little brush looking streamer that is the yellow part and then we have the soft pink here she goes zoe trying to steal my streamers the soft pink one again i always have to open it give her one keep one for myself because she always wants to be involved and i did the same thing cut it fold it except for this one i actually cut it into large petals so you just do loops make it into a little square 
big petals and start using your floral tape tape it around the stick Skew skewers sticks is that what these are called um, they're in the cooking section but they're also a dollar use your glue gun any kind of glue really I have a glue gun be very careful because it can get super hot but to me it's the best most efficient glue for this um, floral tape can be kind of finicky so you might have to go back in there um, and try it again and once you have your stick done start with the center of the flower which in my case is going to be the yellow streamer I use a little bit of glue I start taping it my fingers are kind of used to the heat so even though it's a very thin paper and part of it can burn my the tip of my finger I'm kind of okay with it because it's so quick that I almost don't feel it so let's go ahead and just continue wrapping 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 and making it all around the stem which is your stick with the floral tape go ahead and, and do that with your flower you can choose different colors and you can also choose whatever shapes you want it to be I mean if you want it to be round you can make it brown if you want it to be more puffy you can make it more puffy after that I started to add the second layer of the petals per se so I added the pink layer I like to add it into like small bits because I can also extend the way the petals will kind of open up for the flower and like I said you can use any kind of permanent glue but I always prefer for crafting the glue gun because it's quick it's easy it's actually very inexpensive to find the glue sticks Look at your flower as you are making it, as you are surrounding it with those crepe petals to see if you like it. You can also add these little pieces of the petals per se, like a little bit to the top or a little bit to the bottom, depending on how you like it. And then at the end, add your individual petals. In my case are these pastel pink ones on top of the fuchsia ones and what we're going to do is we are going to make a fluffy kind of opened um, rose in this case you can make different kinds of flowers so excuse me let's say you want to make poppies you can make the flower a little bit more round petals and kind of like more close to each other it really doesn't necessarily have to be one type of way the streamers are perfect for this because if you buy crepe paper that is a large sheet you don't have that width of the streamer that is already pre-cut for you plus it's also cheaper to buy it this way and that is why I like to use these for these flowers I used to make them before with my mom when we were kids um, my mom is a very crafty person she's actually a seamstress and a lot of the things that I know with crafts I learned from her from my grandmother as well who was also an incredibly crafty person I remember growing up with her and knowing a lot of things before other kids from school because I would watch her make a lot of things at home she also had a craft room this is back when I lived in Texas and my grandmother lived in Mexico so we could go across the border often these are flowers that are very very common in the Mexican culture there are other types of flowers that they use sometimes they use them for like Dia de los Muertos which is the day that they remember their dead and most uh, people in the Mexican culture will use them to take them to the um, cemeteries so it's kind of like an anniversary it's not like Halloween here in the US it's very different it's really a day that everybody goes to the tombstones and gives out flowers like these so basically they'll put these flowers in the cemetery tombs they're also good for gift giving you can see the difference of the leaves that I made with the other crepe paper and it could be the same way that you put these petals except instead of the pink petal make it a green petal and basically you have a leaf now what I did with this one is I added a little bit 
of floral tape to cover the end of the flower so it would look like it is like blooming from the stick you don't want that um, paper on the bottom to show so I went ahead and just glued everything together and that was very helpful because I was able to make the stem open up the flower and I just made a lot of little turns here and it may not be the same for you because your flower might be thicker or might be smaller but this is a starting point you can use this you can also use the green cardstock paper that I will be using at the end so I just went ahead and put a little bit more glue gun and sealed it make sure you seal it so it doesn't open up use cardstock like this one or maybe even construction paper I think that would work as well cut I don't trace it I just cut the shape of a leaf because again I like a very like organic whimsy fun shape I don't like them to be like super identical super perfect geometrical so I use a little bit of glue and put the leaf sticking out and then another leaf on the other end so I went ahead and I took the other piece that I cut out and voila you have a leaf on your flower and they look kind of unproportionate but once they are in a bouquet the different shapes kind of remind you of a, a normal bouquet a real bouquet of organic real flowers that don't have the same shape that have different shapes of leaves that have different shapes of the petals and here you have your flower I hope you enjoyed this mini tutorial and I don't know maybe I can show you other little crafts on my next vlog let me know what you thought about this I hope that you can make some of these and if you do make them how about you tag me on your pictures I would like to see them I would like to see what you make I would like to see how you use these to maybe decorate your home office or maybe give them to a friend by the way let's not forget our chalk pens these are round tips how cool are they so I read the description and it said that they are pre wet so it's like having a chalk that has already been wet and it's extremely soft as you can see here i went over each letter to create a faux calligraphy look with the chalk because if it was like chiseled i could make a really cool calligraphy font but since they were very round i decided to do that maybe you can use these with black cardstock paper and use them as a little decoration for your desk or they can also be used for greeting cards and they would look really cool on black cardstock like a chalkboard feel i have this tiny chalkboard that i use for my classes and i also use it for um just for decoration purposes but I could not remove the chalk that I had there from the previous chalk pen. So I'm using this cardstock paper to show you how you can make a quick card for a friend or for yourself. And the gold is actually a pretty cool gold. It's very brilliant. And then the purple. Unfortunately, they only had these four colors. I wish they would have had more available because I like to use them for my class like I said and it's really cool to have something fun that is a chalk feel to it that it has texture they were only a dollar at the Dollar Tree I recommend them and I hope you have fun and I hope you like this if you did please subscribe. I put a lot of effort in these videos and I really do hope that you take something good out of it or at least have fun with me. Au revoir. Bye. Have a good one guys.